I have to say I hate elevator pitching, uh, but and I think m m movies you can pitch in an elevator. I'm not sure they're good, but yeah. Anyway, I'll work on this. Okay, so any card. Who is the person who has influenced your career the most? <laughs> That's a tricky one. Um, well, I would say my mother. Yes, because she's very um, severe when she reads my scripts. So she's the only person I can trust because of that. So that's good. Why do we continue to make films today? Oh, well, why not? I mean, people have said that poetry in painting is a dead art. And now they're saying that about, you know, film. But I think they're so wrong. So I don't see why we should continue to make films, you know, and poetry and painting also. Um, should I continue? Why do you make movies? Hmm. I used to like a lot watching them, but then it wasn't enough, <laughs> I think. And also my parents, they were artists, but they, they, they were not filmmakers. So I thought they won't uh, be able to, you know, uh, understand fully what I'm doing <laughs> if I make films. Okay, I'll, I'll continue then. What else do we have? What's the project you've been keeping in a drawer for too long? <laughs> I, I don't keep projects in drawers anymore. Maybe some corny teenage poetry that I, I didn't finish. But besides of that, I try to finish every script I, I write, uh, which is why I have only done one feature so far. <laughs> so hopefully I'll, I'll start a new one and finish it. Uh, and it, it won't be kept in a drawer. What film meeting experience made you want to make films? There's a film I saw when I was 16 and it's called La Niña Santa the, the, of Lucrecia Martel. And when I saw it, I, I thought the filmmaker uh, had guessed something about me that was very intimate and I was very uncomfortable with that. And in, in, the, in the meantime, I thought like, uh, well, cinema, if cinema can look at you this way in such an intimate way, then it's important. I, I don't know, it, it can change people's lives or make you feel less alone in the universe. So that's why I wanted to make films. Um, what is your next project? Well, I'm writing a film about my mother and my sister, and it will be called No Siempre Soy Tu Animal Materno, which is really hard to translate in English, but it's like, like I'm always your maternal animal. Um, if you could collaborate with the person of your choice, your dreams, who would it be and why? I don't know this person yet. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not really attracted to the idea of working with someone that's necessarily famous. In general, I'm very intimidated by the people I, I admire. And I've been lucky so far to be very inspired by random people I met in castings like non-actors. It happened to me with the previous film. So I want to answer this question by saying that there's probably someone out there buying some stuff in a supermarket and they don't know they're the person I want to work with. And I don't know that either yet, but that's the person I want to collaborate with. Eh, me llamo Valentina Maudel, eh, soy directora de cine, soy la directora de Tengo Sueños Eléctricos y corte. <laughs>